seven billion dollars. And now, when we confronted the honourable minister, he said that um, he does not receive those funds. He does not have control over those funds. That the funds goes to different agencies based on the peculiar needs. That he doesn't have control. So I think for us to really manage that particular uh, subsector effectively. There must be a regulatory commission that monitors the activities of all these uh, international uh, donor agencies that send help to us to know whether those funds are being utilized properly for the purpose meant for. Mr. Speaker, I think if this is done, it's going to really help this country a lot. And let me also take you back to so many things, uh, so many reports, allegations that um, we have received that sometimes the donor agencies that send this money might not really be, not in all cases, in some cases, might not really be for the purpose of development. They can also send this money to promote uh, terrorism, which can further increase the level of insecurity in the country. So that's why it's also good for us to monitor how this money comes in and how it is utilized. And I'm also privileged to visit international community to see how monies are being regulated. You don't just take money to different countries and then use it the way you like. Th those monies have to pass through certain government agencies that have responsibility to regulate it, to know whether the money is meant for development. They need to know the purpose. So, Mr. Speaker, I want to appeal to my colleagues that the importance of this bill cannot be overemphasized. This bill has no cost implication on the government. This bill is something that will, you know, form itself when it is passed into law. I want to submit, Mr. Speaker, that passing this bill into law is timely. And I ask for the support of my colleagues to support this bill to pass um, second reading. I so submit. The Deputy Speaker of the House, Ahmed Idris Wasi, supported the bill by pointing out some shady actions of some agencies that benefit from the funds and contribute to factors that ensure problems persist for such funds to keep coming in. He commended some sincere NGOs but stressed the need to have a regulatory policy to ensure sanity on the acquisition and utilization of such funds. The control of money possibly specified by our brother Honorable Adrian may not be correct, but the issues raised in his own field are very germane. And let us not make this mistake. And I give you an example.